day two of the Korea Match Cup saw a full day's racing. Alongside the racing is the boat show. From closed shows to on-water activities, this show has it all. It's a chance for all Koreans to get afloat and enjoy what their coastline might offer in this ever-expanding market. Amongst the 12 flights of racing, we started to see the leaders emerge. Peter Gilmore's Yanmar Racing has only lost one of their matches so far in this event, here putting a penalty on world champion Ian Williams and Bahrain Team Pindar. You know, when we started reverse circling in the pre-start, it forced Ian to lead back in, and uh, he basically was uh, obviously 40 or 50 seconds early when he started and uh, just couldn't brush off enough time. We did a nice job staying unoverlapped with him, and uh, I think he got a penalty there for contacting with the fin, which possibly he should have ended up with too. Ben Ainsley and Team Origin, fresh from their win in Germany last week, were right up there giving a masterclass to the local men and their skipper Bion Ki, putting a penalty on the Korean early in the pre-start. But Ainsley would lose to Ian Williams later in the day, setting up a possible and fiery quarter-final clash. Mirsky had few races today, but proved against an under-the-weather call that his best day may come tomorrow. Seb Cole won here last year, but was unusually off the pace. His back's against the wall to get into the quarter-finals. OK, we just had a you know, really big battle with Cole, and um, we're so happy that we came back from behind to win a race. I think, you know, Sebastian's the defending champion, and he's, he really knows how to use these boats, and we just had, I don't know, this, this one really got a click for us, and we, we felt like a good speed, especially downwind. The round robin finishes tomorrow and the quarterfinals should begin here at Korean Match Cup. See you then.